probably my best trick I could ever teach you. If you're not applying your foundation or concealer like this, you're doing it wrong. Using the Say Slip Tint, scooping it out onto the back or the palm of your hand or a palette, whatever you want. If your hands are clean, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna use a small brush and bounce and press all that product into the brush. This is the key part of this whole thing. I like to call this priming the brush. And what you get is this invisible coverage, flawless finish with little to zero effort. If you see the product going on your face and you have to blend it, you need to prime it into the brush more. This technique will have your makeup looking better for longer. Excuse me. It will have your skin looking more like skin. But let's just say I wanna get rid of that redness a little bit. What's left in my brush, keep dabbing and pressing until you are concealed. And this side has concealer, this side does not. And you'll be left with undetectable coverage. Something I do on all my celebrity clients. No coverage, coverage. Priming the brush for perfect complexion application. I wanna preface this with, you do not need to prime the brush with stick concealers or foundations. The priming the brush technique is primarily for a fuller coverage liquid concealer or foundation. So concealers and foundations in jars, pots, and sticks can sort of be exempt from this. You can still do it if you like the effect, it's just not as necessary. The technique will still apply and still make it go on smoother and more seamless and translucent. Today I'm gonna to use Tower 28's concealer. This is the Say Beauty double-ended complexion brush. I'm gonna prime what's on my hand into the big part of the brush. And then I'm gonna do the same as I did the other day and start to stipple that on. And as you can see, it's going on easy. I'm not having to blend it at all. It's blending for me as I apply. Now, keep going until there's nothing left in that brush to go with. And this is for those that feel like you've got breakouts, hyperpigmentation, any kind of marks that you wanna cover more than this. Also, you don't need to be rough with this step. This step is rough. This step is soft. The only pressure you should be putting into that brush is when you're getting it into the palm of your hand, not to your face. So here's a before and after of where we are right now. Zero complexion on this side. This side has complexion. All right, now I've got some fresh complexion swatched out from my concealer and I'm gonna stamp it into the brush a little bit less furiously than I did earlier. I wanna be able to see it in the tips of those bristles a little bit more than before. But for any kind of discoloration, rosacea, hyperpigmentation, breakouts, whatever they may be, you're just gonna stipple it onto those areas and just hang out for a minute with it. You could even take a fan and like let some air hit it so it dries a bit faster. If you have a double-ended brush, you can use this side to start tapping and blending, or you can go back in and use the exact same brush. Very gentle pressure, just keep tapping very gently until anything that you want concealed is concealed. But be delicate because you don't want to take anything off that you've already applied. The bristles are firm enough on a brush to do the work for you. Remember that. There's a little unblended mark right there. I'm just going to gently tap over that. Okay. Now, if you want more coverage in this, just repeat that second step again until you get to where you want to be. But I know my skin is relatively sort of even. You can see a big difference and this will work. You just have to try it.